what's up guys, it's your boy Big here. Today we're going to react to the infamous uh, movies I watched in 2023. So basically we are going to go through every single tier and I hope you like and subscribe and enjoy and starting off with the infamous movie in F tier. We got the buddy games, the waking, spring awakening, where the movie is ten minutes of spring break. The rest is absolute fucking chaos. They're on drugs. They're trying to find the friend. It's a really bad Hanover movie. I uh, would like to move down to Blue Beetle. Shit. Yeah. I don't know what that people are thinking. Shit. None too. Not even scary. Not even close. Number one got. Jump scares, number two, slow, no jump scares at all. We've got Hidden Strike, John Cena and Chaka Chan film. Low budget, the bloopers were more funnier than the movie, that's all I have to say. And we've got Flash, <sighs> yep, no, nah. yeah, let's skip that part, that's let's skip that movie. We've got After Everything, we've got Mimi King in it, so it was pretty decent. Other than that, it was pretty shit. And well, we would like to go to. E tier. Now everybody knows that Megan with the crap. Cringe dancing. No three rhymes. Boo. Yeah, not it. No hard feelings. Jennifer Lawrence movie. Not good. Yeah, it was a 30 year old trying to date a 18 year old. Nah. That ain't it. We're Indiana Jones style dynasty. Not realistic. I don't know why people think he can and how 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 the and fucking Ford can act at his age and be the strong man, so I'm really with that. Got Barbie movie. Hi Ken. Only I'm just Ken. That's it. That's the only good movie. And we got M and the Leprechaun Mania. Bad CGI all around. Not good acting. And it kind of reminds me of Spy Kids. Like the memes. And then we got Dungeons and Dragons. I was hyped for it. And product was bad. And did not enjoy it. I'll be real. Did not enjoy that one bit. But luckily, we're in D tier. Whoa. Wow. D tier is Knocked on the Cabin. It was an early 2023 film where Dave Batista and some others, like Ron Maripa, I don't know his real name. He, they. Uh, a cult where they have to kill family to stop the world ending and well that didn't really happen did it uh season fear of god yeah they just changed the cast changed the girl they uh they made it into a like kids movie instead of action downfall men called auto tom hanks film yeah it was pretty good grumble man Slowly turning into like a nicer guy because of his neighbours and then he dies at the end. There you go. Uh, I lost the bet on this one. Magic Mike Glass Hands. If you're straight, don't watch it. King of Killers is a basically a low budget um, Suicide Squad. Which was a little bit of a L. A bit, bit of a letdown. But uh, it was an okay movie. FNAF, aka Private Notes Freddy, yeah, it was bad. So we're now to get into bloody killing people. And yeah, it was not good. Then we've got the Marvels. So let's skip that one. Look at Xmas. Yeah, Amazon Prime movie. Where a husband and fiance broke up, but the family hangs out with a girl. And they spend Christmas together. And by the end, they get together. Alright, so let's get to tier 3. And, sorry, tier, C tier, sorry, sorry, sorry. We've got Operation Fortune, Rise of the Grey, where the Jason Statham film, which was really good, nice POV shots, and they killed everyone. We've got Murder Mystery 2. Not bad as the first one, but it was good. 
um, Merlin from Kingsman was in it, and he was a good like bad guy type thing. It's pretty good. Very good. Chris Evans and Andale Adams in it, and Chris Evans not the manly man in it. A little bit of cow type thing, but pretty entertaining to watch. I recommend watching it. Uh, Teen Wolf the movie. Uh, definitely did not listen to TV shows. All the fans. Stars wasn't in it. Um, fucking the main girl came back to live. It was a bit of a L, bit of a letdown. We got Kadar, which is a Taliban movie, uh, like army movie, and it was all right. But at the end of the day, low budget, but pretty good. And uh, then you were not invited to bot Mitzvah. Had a family film again. I was surprised that Adam Sandler's kids can fucking act and yeah she was good in it so big up her this is not a movie but I watched it in the cinema it's Taylor Swift Areas Tour on St. Lawn I was the only guy there got a girl Snapchat don't talk to her now because she got caught, caught me talking to another girl on Snapchat let's move on to The Killer wow Netflix film silence film and it was pretty decent, besides the non-talking. So, yeah. So let's go to the next tier and the B tier. And we are starting off with Cocaine Bear. And, I mean, it's based on the truth of all things. And it was pretty decent. I enjoyed it. I liked it. And it was funny. I, want, I think number two would be like Cocaine Shark or something. And then next one, talking about sharks, but Meg 2, Meg 2, yeah, good Jason Statham film, pretty funny. There's a Haitian guy in it who, like, I thought he would die, but also he survived everything that comes his way, it was pretty good. That was like a little joke in the movie, and then I'm not a fan of the any of the movies except the first one. The guy would do Transformers Rise of the Beast, good CGI, good fight scenes, good, uh... Acting, Blue Beetle died at the end, I mean sorry at the start, but came back at the end with the reboot, and then at the reboot, they said, oh, we would like you to help the Transformers and join our thing, and it was G.I. Joe, so they're in the same universe, and then next one we've got Puppy Love, and it was two people who met at a bar, first date, but they didn't like each other, but the dogs did, they fucked each other, and then their parents were be- puppies. So they have to put the f- difference aside, and then made a good little comedy f- romance film. Then we've got Saw X. It is between number one and two in the timeline, and it was when he had a cancer, and they just used him for the money, and they got karma, and they got killed, but he had a change of heart, not killing the kid, and mentoring him to be the killer. And the next one is The Other Zoe. It's a romance movie. Guy gets hit by a car. Doesn't remember that this is the wrong Zoe, and they date. At the end, the real Zoe comes in, and then the real one gets broken up with. And at the end, they at the party they get hooked up. Got dumb money based on the truth. GameStop, you know what I mean? GameStop, yeah. Seth Rogen was out that strip club. <laughs> Clean shaven, decent movie. Freelance, John Cena movie. A lot of kills was POV. Was it like a video game? And it was actually a really good movie. Like I'm, I'm dead serious. Good John Cena movie. Next one, The Hunger Games: Fold of Songbirds and Snakes. Good storyline. Good main actor. Who we went from nice guy, rich nice guy, to falling in love, to becoming a poor man, and slowly going insane, and shave his head, and he looks like a fucking slim shader. And then we got. The A tier, wow, okay. So we're in A tier mode. And we are in Creed 3. Yeah, it was a good boxing movie. I liked it. It was enjoyable. Good villain, good storyline. And then we've got Air, aka Air Jordan, based on the shoes, real life, based on the truth. Good Ben Affleck wrote it, and then Matt Damon was in it, and they're both in it. it was Fantastic movie. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 was a original, I'm oh sorry, not original, the very first Mission Impossible I actually enjoyed and like entertaining. 
good kills, good storyline, good fast pace. Can't wait for part two. Now let's go to Talk To Me. Not really Talk To Me, but that's a movie. That's in Australia. Waka Rock Ali wrote it. Good horror movie. Good side moon cameo. And if you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix right now, so go watch it now. And then we've got Gran Turismo. Cool, based on a video game. Normally a video game movie is so bad, but this one was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. This racing made me entertain. I actually got the game for it. And then I sold it after I finished it. Yeah, it was a really good influence. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And next we've got Thanksgiving, the recent horror movie. Uh, that came out this year, and oh my god, Addison Ray bro, she actually did really good in acting, and she's really cute, and if Addison Ray wants to hit me up, call me, yeah, you know what I mean, but let's move into um, the next year, and that's S tier, and with this S tier, we are going to say, we want to start with, I'm sorry for the actress that says not in it anymore, or Scream 7, but this is Scream 6, like this is in the past, and there's a good movie, Three Killers, just one was like off screen death, and then she came back to, oh, I'm actually the killer, surprise, which was pretty surprising. Then we've got John Wick 4, very good, good start of John Wick 1, the guy to John Wick 4, when he had to battle it out with his friend, but he lost. Yeah. Then we've got Super Mario Bros. movies. Chris Pratt was pretty good as Mario, but we all know that we like peaches, 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 I love you so, wow. Now the next movie is Garden of the Galaxy, Volume 3. This movie, just because of this movie, bro, Animal Cruelty and that, got saved in that, was pretty good. Harmful. Heart felt. Jesus Christ, I don't know why I said harmful. Then we've got a fast X, John Cena died in Surprise. Honestly, surprise. It was a pretty good film. Good John Cena film, talking to the kids like, oh, don't be mad at your dad. He's just defending the world in Italy. And then we've got Spider Man across the Spider Verse. It was a great movie. I like the first one, I like the second one. Can't wait for the third one. And the next one's Oppenheimer. It's about a bomb in like World War II type of thing. Pretty good. Love it. And then we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Me and Mayhem. Same with Spider Man Cross the Spider Verse. Same thing, 3D, 3D animation. Seth Rogen wrote it. Big up Seth Rogen. And then last last one, don't judge me. We got all four colours here. It's got it's got a bit of wiggle hot potato documentary. It's pretty good. Anthony had the problem. We didn't know that. We also didn't know that I was actually a purple fan, I was a Jeff fan. And uh yeah. Up that now let's move in to the TV shows. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the FTL of TV shows. There's only two, so it's fine. We got Velma. Do I have to say anything? Fucking hated it. Changed everything of it. I'm gonna kill it. Now we've got How Many Mother Season 2. Yeah, it was an L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised it didn't get killed a little quicker. And, uh, honestly. Yeah. Um, we got the next one, and that is East Etia, which is going to be the Secret Invasion. Was L L L L L L L, and then we got Sex Education Season Four. Yeah, just the work stuff, the gay stuff, just fucking defucked it. Then see Ruby and Otis get back together. And then we are in D D tier where where it's like basically how do I say this? It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And high school musical season four. Musical series. It was just mid. It wasn't great. I was actually hyped for it, but it wasn't good. Then we got the Wolf Pack. It got cancelled after season one. Um, it was basically, I, I, if I correctly, it, it's like if someone turned into a wolf, but not like a full wolf, they can just have the senses and don't, don't actually turn into it. But yeah, it was basically a high school big fight thing. 
uh, Heels 2, Season 2 got cancelled. What can I say? Not surprised. It was a very downfall thing. And then we've got Future on Season 11. And it was a new one to reboot. And it was mid. Young Sheldon Season 6 was also mid. And Obliterated is on Netflix. I kind of just gave up on the show. But yeah, okay, let's move on with D, D, T, uh, the C, T, S, uh, sorry. And what Sanctuary is a good Japanese sumo movie, TV show. And I enjoyed it. Very brutal at the end. I've got that 90s show and, um, yeah, it's basically a rebuild of the 70s show, but we got a little cameo here and there, but yeah, because of, um, uh, Hyde actor in jail for DNTM. Danny Masterson. Hopefully you get freed to not take the 90 years. Uh, what Too Hot to Handle, the recent season. Uh, season 5, I believe. It was alright. Didn't really enjoy it in the, between the middle. Actually, I, all, my, all reactions is on the channel, so you can go check that out. Then we've got the Challenge Season 38, Ride or Die. It started in 2022, like the first few, but it actually ended in 2023, so that's why it's on the list. Good reality show, the challenge. The season was, I just didn't like the winners, like how they did the finals, so yeah. Season 39 though, big up. Then we've got All Star Shore Season 2, mismatch, but at least we've got Vinny, saying that. And I've got Chucky Season 3 was, it's pretty... I can't wait for season 4, I actually like it, Chucky series, keep it up. Uh, the, what, The Last Man Standing season 2, which is on, on Netflix, it's a Japanese comedian show. And, I prefer season 1, more people I know. But it was a good entertainment. And then on Prime we've got Takashi Castle, it's a Japanese reality show. Where it was made in the 80s and now it got rebooted. And everyone just tries to do like the course and stuff, it's really funny. Go watch it. We got the Love Island games, it's like the American, every American, UK, France, everyone going in it. It's Love Island, but they do a few games, and the winner is Jack from UK, also known, or in the the Does the Shoe Fit on Young Philly's program. Then we got Twin Love. Uh, it was really good. I actually enjoyed it, but like at the end of the day, they didn't fall in love at the end. They broke up. So yeah. Um, we are in the, uh, B tier. And, Total Drama Island Season 3, I can't wait for Season 2. I've watched, there's actually Episode 1 on my fourth channel. So you should check that out. I don't know when Season 2 comes out. Uh, sorry, Episode 2. We've got Out of Bank Season 3, season three. can't wait for Season 4. We've got Exo Kitty, which is a spin-off of every girl I liked or something, I don't know, but it's pretty good, good Korean, uh, it's mixed with Korean, perfect, uh, we've got The Summer I Turned Pretty, uh, and this is season 2, and I'm team Jeremiah, fuck, fuck Crawford, so, and we've got Goosebumps TV show, which is actually surprisingly really good, I enjoyed it, very, very high up there in B tier, and then we've got Rick and Winnie season 7, it's not all finished, but I'm very enjoying it right now. And then we've got Mod Argument Legacy of Monsters. Also not finished, new episode that comes out today. But at the end of the day, it's really good. And uh, it's definitely going to be up there. So we're going to go in season... Sorry. <laughs> we're going to go in tier 5, tier A. Um, yeah, so that's my S tier. So this is the Challenge World, Chal uh, World Championship, which was good. Jordan and Zara won. Big up them. Uh, f sorry that Wes left in it. We got the con the Continental. It's a John Wick TV show. Three episodes. It's really good. I enjoyed it. Young um, Winston and all that. We got A2K. So show on YouTube. You will be watching it. It's like like a who is the next pop star type thing. We got a Challenge USA two. Sorry, this is when West left, not World Championship. USA 2, West left against uh, Josh, I believe. 
and he felt very bad for he voted them in and they were on our line. Now we've got physical 100. Can't wait for season 2. Hopefully there's season 2. Because physical 100 is real, like, really good. We've got Gen V. Really spin off of the boys. I uh, can't wait for season 2. The ending. Uh, we've got the challenge season 39. But of the new champion. We're, I'm still watching it right now. Not finished yet. But it, it does really look good. And yeah. And then we've got Love Island Australia Season 5. <sighs> Come on, Nate. I'm predicting you to win. I'm predicting you to win. And we've got Squid Game to challenge. Yeah, not really many people like that. But, uh, what do you gotta do, huh? It's good. Let's go. Peace. Pong. Goodbye. <laughs>